Hi, this is Jill with Crick Flicks, and I'm going to try and kill two birds with one stone here. I've had numerous questions. Um, a lot of you folks out there got a uh, silhouette cameo for Christmas, and um, even though you've been watching videos, there's some things that um, you have questions on. So I'm going to try and help out here as much as I can. Um, whoops, let me get this out of here. First thing I'm going to do is, um, and I apologize ahead of time if I don't recall who asked what, because again, there was numerous questions, and so I'm just going to try and cover bases, okay? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Google, and my Google search right here, and I'm going to pull up Louis Vuitton, and this person wanted to know why her straps were not cutting out. Um, I was going to pick this purse right here. And I have to open the oh, copy image right here. And I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste it. That's not the image I just copied. So we're going to try this again. Copy. Whoops, that's not where I wanted to go. How do you like that so far? Well, let's see if I can copy it like this. I don't think I can, though. Um, let's see if it will let me. I don't care which person, person it is. Copy image, save image, save image as. Copy image. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to stop this recording, and there we go. Now, as you can see, it's huge. Uh, these purses were huge um, as far as the DPI, which was great. Um, you wanted to know how I got the pieces cut out in the strap. What I'm going to do is go up here to my little trace area, click on it, highlight my whole area, take my high pass filter off, and I'm going to bring this up. And what I want it to do is fill in solid everywhere. See how it's everywhere? Yeah, I'm going to bring it in a little closer. Um, I might have a little bit of fuzziness going on in there, and I don't want any of that to cut out. I want these areas left open. Normally I always tell you to trace outer edge. In this case you're going to trace, you're going to use the whole entire trace button. And then when I highlight the purse and I go to object and modify and crop, there we go. Look at that. It cut out everything in here. Now the way that I know is because when I hit my cut line, look at that. It's going to cut out all of those lines in there. So that is all you have to do is you just want to get it as solid as you can and instead of using the trace outline you do the entire trace. So I'm going to cut that one out of here and then I'm going to go on to the next. The next person's question was she was having issues with the square when she went to cut. Um, I'm going to grab a Mickey Mouse. Those are real easy, and I'm going to grab an image. And the issue that she was having was, see this, um, let me see, I'm trying to think, I can't tell here, because some of the images you can't see the white border around them. I think this might be one, but I'm not sure. I have to open this in a new tab. Go to my new tab and copy image. And paste. Now, there we go. See when I pull it over here? It looks like it should just cut out. There's no white around it. Oops! Shrunk him too much. Sorry. Made them a little bit too tiny. Come on now. Why did it stop? Oh, I was going negative. I was making them even smaller. Boy, I'm not reaching a, meet, a happy meeting spot here. But look at that. There's no white around it. Look at what happens when I do cut the outline. There's a square around it. Even though 
you cannot see the white, there is still a box around it. So again, this is what's going to cut out. It's going to cut out this red line. Now when I close that, again, you don't see any white around them, but you have to do the trace regardless because there's a transparent um, background and you can't see it. Instead of having a white, I'm going to take and I'm going to bring and trace them all out. That's good enough. On this one, I'm going to trace outline only because I don't want the hands and the buttons and the eyes. I want just the outline. And then I'm going to go in there and I'm going to do modify modify and crop and there now when I do my cut outline there you have it outer edge there that's all you have to do so again don't think just because an image doesn't show the white behind it you still have to tra um, trace and cut it because it will be transparent um, another thing that I can show you and I'm not real sure because I already traced this one but we're going to give it a shot we're going to try something for those of you that want to break it down in parts. First of all, um, I'm going to start over again here. I'm going to delete that. Okay, I'm going to get out of there. Um, come on. I don't want the trace there. Shut that off. Okay. Uh, let's see here. What was I going to say? Oh, I'm going to copy him. Nope, nope, I'm not going to copy him. I am going to do a contour around him, and I'm going to make my contour really ever so slight. 15, I think I'm going to do him. I don't want much of an outline. There, I did 0 0.015. That is my, my background. Now, let's try something here. I'm not going to guarantee this is going to work because I've already cut him out but I'm going to try and trace again and see if we can take and leave the high pass filter on and trace like this and take him away and take him away and there you go and then you're going to go up to object release compound and I'm going to remove this back I'm going to take his um, gloves and I'm going to paint uh, color them white and um, see if you want to do it as a layer like on the Cricut machine you do not have to do these as print and cut there you go I want this glove oops you guys click on the line and there you go so you can take these pieces and cut them out and layer them exactly like you would on a Cricut cartridge so you get that layered um, look. If you want to do, whoops, if you want to do that but maybe not all of the cuts, like we're not going to need this black in here, oh, this white goes to his glove, I better take this part and move it over here. You want to group them when you do this because this was part of his glove here. Okay, um, and we don't need this. Well, actually, I do need that to cut right there. I need to put that as a cut line on that edge. Oh, I better undo that. I didn't have to say that. It was already cut. There we go. I'm going to I do want that in there. Um, I don't remember where it went. Oh, it went all the way up to his shorts here. That'll cut out his legs. Then I'm going to take, I don't want this leg, I don't want this leg, I don't want this piece. I'm going to group all of the, uh, first of all, I'm going to take this piece and color it black. And then I'm going to take the rest of these and color don't want that piece colored so I'm going to have to do this one at a time. I'm going to take my dropper and make sure I get my color matched. And do this and do this and then I'm going to group them together and there's his shoes. 
so you can make them. Now, the face I don't like, never have, even on the Cricut machine. I do not like the way everything tears apart. So, what I like to do um, is take and I'm going to color this one black and this piece. And I'm sure I've done this before. Whoops. Black. Um, this piece. How am I not getting it? And white. You know why I'm not getting it? There's not a broken line on it. I don't think. No, there isn't. So I would have to make my own eyes. And those are on my other videos. And I don't want to take up all your time showing you how to do that because there are videos out there that show you how to make eyes when you need to. I always do my Mickey faces, any of my faces, all in one. I don't like trying to piece together those little itty bitty um, eyes and, and um, you know, the little in the face, the layers on the eyes and the tongue and everything. I don't like monkeying around with that. So typically what I do is I outline this when I'm all done with my pieces, which I didn't color right, but remember, I've done these videos before and I'm not going to get into a lot of detail because I'm trying to answer some questions here. And I tried to do that. Um, and that should have been black. And then maybe, yeah, that's not going to work. That gives me a little bit of a white outline, but anyway, you can watch my other videos to see that because, again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. And then you move his face over here, and then that's how you can make it in layers. Um, another question somebody had asked me, uh, I think I've plum forgotten, um, and I think I have. Let's see here. I wonder if I should go back and look at real quick my YouTube. Um, here's my YouTube. People have been asking me numerous questions and I can't remember. And for those of you that I don't get back to, it's not that I just get really, really busy. And the way that the YouTube now is set up, they come, they do it through Google now, and it's not like it used to be where I got an email that sent me a YouTube comment or question or whatever, and this just isn't going to open for me, and I'm not going to dink around with it. Um, so, what was it? I think it was something on the Louis Vuitton... Favors, let me see here. It's not opening for me. Um, oh, and I last thing I want to do is listen to me talk. Okay, so let me get out of there. Um, yeah, here's the part between the handles. I just showed you how to do that. And um, somebody else did coach purses. How cute. Okay. Alrighty, I don't. You need the cut line only. Okay, that was the other. That was on that video. Well, I guess I'm going to call it quits on this one, and I'll come up and I'll do a short video on it when I can find the other questions. But I hope this helps out for the folks that were asking me these things. Um, remember, if you ever have a question, just ask me, and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you. Bye-bye.